What the heck is that? <laughs> Hello? Shalom, brother. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. <laughs> What's up, my brother? Your camera is open, in case you do not know. Oh, hold on. Okay, my fault. All right. uh, that what that was uh, that was me that that coward was uh, making fun of about my testimony. Ah, uh, you are the one who says you saw the light and you became. So you used to be a Muslim and you became a Christian. Yes. Yes. All right. So, uh, 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 well, if you want to open your camera, it's up to you. I mean, I, I just uh, for me, I don't mind. But just in case you're not, I, I see you are, already. You are posting your videos in YouTube, so you don't. You know, it doesn't matter really. Yeah, I don't care. It's all for it's all for his glory. I'm not scared of nobody. If I I'm, have God with I'm me, in, I'm into that. So, uh, uh, your name is Amir, correct? Yes, sir. All right, my friend. Go ahead and tell the people about what happened to you. And do you have a do you have a a, a link for your videos so we can share your page with people? I to did, I, I did I did I put I posted it on the comments. Uh, but it's going so fast. I don't know if anybody got it. I don't, I don't think you can post uh, uh, links. Uh, okay, get, uh, uh, post something in the in the chat. I will see your name. I will click in it, and that will take me to your page. What is the name of you you have in the chat? The, well, it's under it's under uh, Christ is enough ministries. That's who the the channel is under. Christ is enough ministry. Pastor Hassan, he put it on his uh, no, no, channel. No, no, I am talking about my channel. If you can, oh, if you, can. yeah, yeah, give me the link. You can give me the link here in your or in the name of your account in YouTube. In Skype in the text and I will post it for people so they can subscribe to you just to support you oh I don't, I don't care about my channel brother I don't have a channel I, 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 I don't have one have a, okay yeah, I don't I don't have one uh, like that no brother all right okay go ahead what, how, what happened to you Amir well, man it's a uh, man it's a very it's a long story but it happened ever since I was a kid um, because my whole testimony is, uh, is not on the on that video it's on it's on another video on, on YouTube, but um, so when I was, it happened when I was 12 years old, that's when it started. Um, when I was 12 years old, uh, me and my brother, we used to share a bedroom together. And do I have enough time? Because it's a long story, man. You want me to just cut it short, straight to the point? Uh, yeah, if you can go just straight forward, like the major thing happened. Okay, well, yeah, so I, I'm, I seen him when I was 12 years old to make a uh, long story short and I denied him all my life and I always put it behind me but I always rem I always hear his voice in my heart every time when I used to pray and everything every time and I Just always used to push him behind me yeah. and then I got and then in uh, February 1st of 2020 I died I died and what, I, what, what I, do you mean by saying you died I had a heart I like I had a I like these people, they think I was dreaming. Like I, I always tell somebody, I know what dreams are. This is not a dream. I like really, I like he killed me for real. Like I really died. He wanted okay. to show me what I was doing. I was going to hell, and my soul, my soul knew everything right away. Your soul feels everything a million times more. You feel everything. You know everything, and it's it's unbearable. It's it, I was falling in a black pit, falling fast, and then. I like how it says under. I screamed that right away. That's the first thing I did was scream the shahada, and I screamed Allahu Akbar like eight times. And that's what trips me out. These guys say that I seen the devil, but the devil wasn't scared of Allah's name. I said it eight times. I screamed Jesus one time, and I came back to life. He gave me another chance. You know what I mean? Let me do um, that. I was falling, and I screamed, I screamed the shahada. And I, and then when I screamed Allahu Akbar eight times, and then my soul told me that I'm it's a it's a lie. They they lied to you. It's not true, and I'm going to hell for eternity. And right when I felt the separation, the hopelessness is unbearable. Uh, like every time I tell it, I want to cry. I, the the um the feeling of hopelessness is unbelievable compared to from from the hopelessness you feel on earth is nothing compared to what you're gonna feel when you know that you don't have God no more. And and then I, I like th there was this white fly a uh, white light flying around me so fast and I knew it was my guardian angel and this guardian angel's voice was the most scariest and the most beautiful voice in one that's the only way I can explain to everybody this voice is so piercing I will never forget this angel's voice in my life it's so piercing I it won't leave me every single day I think about this voice and it started screaming at me and it was telling me Amir it was going from one ear to the other 
Amir, please, you have to listen to me. And this angel was so desperate for me. It was so desperate. It said, please, you have to listen. He can still hear you. He's the only one that can save you. You have to tell him before your soul leaves your body. You have to tell Jesus to save you before your soul leaves your body. Hurry, do it now. Hurry, hurry. And it was tell and then when I was looking down and I was it was another pit. And right before I hit that pit, and I, I was like, well, while I was falling, I couldn't even, I still couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I was still couldn't believe it. And I screamed out, Jesus, please come into my heart and save me. And I, my, the, the pain, like the, the force that my, my soul, when it came back into my body is unbelievable. Like the force, like my chest was hurting me for like four days. It's like, I know what a defibrillator, like when somebody has a heart attack and they use that shocking machine, that's what it felt like. I, I like when, when, when I said his name, a big flash and a big boom, uh, like a huge blast, that's what I heard. And then I came back to life and I couldn't believe it. I was sweating like crazy. My wife was gonna call 911 and I knew I had a heart attack or something. I knew, I knew something happened to me. And even at that time, even even that moment, I said, there's no way this can happen. There's no way, there's no way. So I took another eight months. I read the Quran and I took my time, okay? Because I was proud to be Muslim and I was I was scared. You know, in Islam, we leave our religion. It's a wrap. There's no forgiveness. That's the only, forg that's the only sin Allah can never forgive you if you leave your religion. And I was thinking about the, the, the embarrassment and the torment that I'm going to cause for my whole family. Even my, my, I still, my wife is still Muslim and my kids are still Muslim. They, they, and, you know, I'm, I'm trying hard to get them to believe. But once you're programmed in that system, it's so hard because Islam is all fear. Islam is all fear. It instills fear in a person. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's. It, it instills fear to where you don't you want to just stay in it, you know. Even even keep even, listen. This is what this is what trips me out. Even if Jesus came down, they're still gonna deny him. That's what drives me crazy about people, and they act like they know me. They act like they've seen everything. They don't know nothing. And after after I got saved, Christian Prince, I if I tell you the things that he shows me and the things that he, I, I can't believe it. It's like I write everything down. I have a journal. I write everything down, all the things that he shows me and tells me, because even even recently, like at sometimes, you know, when I go against my family, they come and they want to debate me and all this stuff. And, you know, sometimes, you know, my my mind gets, gives me doubts. But when I hear his voice and I feel his love, his love is un believable that's what people don't understand even even if i tried to go back to islam he will not let me he tells me i'm safe where i'm at that's how much he loves me and the love that he i never felt love like this in my life i'm 45 years old and i i never felt this love and protection in my life and i all and now i know all the times that i that all the all the accidents that i've been because i almost died so many times and now I knew why he kept me alive. He didn't never want me to go to hell. And that's where I was going. Is your wife now still Muslim? She's halfway, halfway in, halfway out because I show her because I watch her channels like crazy and I document everything and I and I show her things and I show her hadith and she can't believe like she's against everything. So you know if you're against the Prophet that you're not even Muslim, you can't say you're a Muslim, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, she doesn't agree with a lot of things. Once you disagree with anything Muhammad did, you, you can't consider yourself a Muslim. Exactly. And she, I, she's, and I she, she's already out, even if she's saying she's not yeah, yet. Yeah. yeah. And me, I can't be fake right away. I, I didn't waste no time. He didn't let me. I told my whole family and I, I told everybody and I try to explain to people. I go, listen, man, I never wanted to hurt anybody. I never wanted to destroy my family's life. But I'm not going to go to hell for anybody. I will never have that feeling of hopelessness that I felt when I died. There is no way. And there's no way that out of every, every prophet and everything, Jesus is always the one that shows up, not in just with me and everybody. Anybody that died and comes back, they always say it was Jesus. Nobody else. Yeah. Nobody else. Everything has to do with but, Jesus. Uh, but Amir, you know, listen. Now you will not receive the versions. You know what? That was uh, <laughs> <laughs> the 
not only the virgins, the orgies. The I mean, orgies. I, I mean, is it, isn't it obvious that this guy is a scam? You know, I mean, what kind of God? He promised me endless private part. Women, her ass will be one mile. Do you like one mile ass? See, this is the thing that should, that they opened my eyes like so much. Like, okay, how how is it haram to have sex on earth, but it's not haram to have sex in heaven? How God is so holy. There is no desire. We don't take our evil desires on earth to heaven with us. I don't know what kind of fantasy these people live in. There's no sex in heaven, okay? We have a spirit body. Our body's not going to be like with penises and vaginas and we're going to have sex and kids. It's not going to be like that. These, that's what trips me out. They really think that they're going to have all kinds of porn stars going on. and uh... <laughs> You know, uh, the promises, they are so stupid. I mean, if a person have a little, I mean, small brain, you don't need to be genius. When there is somebody, he says to you that your wife, her ass will be one mile. I mean, what is that exactly? You know, one mile, you know, yeah. And uh, what if I don't have it that big? What about half mile? Can we have like a hundred meter, you know? I mean, uh, what is this half mile? And in the same time, you ask yourself, there was mile in the time of Muhammad. I mean, this guy, he must be a prophet for real. <laughs> what about the, what about the little boys? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, all the region. But I advise you actually to open your YouTube channel so you can, you know, you can help the Muslim himself. As you know, we don't hate Muslims. And you yourself, not long ago, you used to be a Muslim yourself, right? So we don't hate the Muslims. And I believe that you have a duty yourself to help the Muslim to see the truth and to leave Islam. So I advise you. I encourage you to open your channel in YouTube and uh, I will share it with people here so we can get you uh, people to support you and subscribe. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I did make one, but I didn't make no videos there. It's uh, I am Jesus proof. You should, you should, you I should. Mean. Trust me, you should. You should. So you can be an active and don't, because, you know, if we don't share what happened with us, I mean, I appreciate already our sharing, but it's better if you have your own channel and you make like once a while, you don't have to make a video every day, but if, if you ask me, I will make a video every day. Why not? I mean, uh, don't the Lord deserve our time? He deserves, right? Okay. So of there, course, yeah. there's no better time than the time we spend preaching his gospel, bringing people to him. So uh, uh, make videos every day, maybe 15 minutes. You know, I understand you have a family. You need to take care of them. 15 minutes every day. Let's speak about why you believe in Christianity, why Islam, what's wrong with Islam, etc every day you know a few thoughts here and there and that will help many to leave islam and to listen to you and to come to christ and that will be blessing for you uh, now and in the future amen my brother all right my friend thank you very much for calling i love you christian friends i right. appreciate everything you do for our lord i appreciate you god bless you thank god you bless everybody. take care thank you so much take care bye, -bye. thank you bye, -bye.